I am a person who for 18 years worked at St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital and wanted to join the union of 1199 because the benefits were great under Leon Davis and Doris Turner. But unfortunately, my mother-in-law's cousin, Dennis Rivera, who is part of organized crime, took over my union. He paid back the bosses for the money they loaned him to run against Doris Turner. He destroyed the health care system for those who are retired. And by that, I also mean because I would not marry another cousin of his after my late wife died because I didn't want to marry a woman who might have been raped by her father because that's what they do in organized crime. I chose to run away to Seattle and because I didn't want to be in that crappy insurance company hip. And because of this, Dennis Rivera made sure I did not receive the benefits I have earned. He also gave to my youngest daughter my death insurance. And as you can see, I'm still alive. This is the criminal action of Dennis Rivera and also buying non-union products for elections, which he tried to elect one of his cousins, the mayor, who ran against Bloomberg. Now, he had us join uh, SEIU because he knew he would have had to change too many votes and no one would have believed it if he remained the president of 1199. Now the person who has taken over for him continues to steal my benefits. I was getting 408, now they give me a piece of paper saying I'm going to get 404. How much more money is that SOB, who's now the president, stealing from me besides my benefits? I'm making this video in hopes that the membership back in New York and all over this country revolts against these criminals who have taken control of our union and we must take it back from them. We should not allow these thieves to continue stealing from the membership because I am quite sure not only my money is being stolen, but the rest of the membership money is being stolen and put elsewhere. These how the, this is how these criminals act. They are not union people. They are criminals and should be brought to justice.